Well, something else we said a little bit ago on this channel was that CNN, more and more, looks like it is in a position to take Fox's audience. Might have seemed silly when I was saying it at the time, but uh, it, it's funny that the more people say something, the less silly that concept becomes. Might have seemed silly because, you know, CNN is one of the one of the people that even Trump was was railing against. Oh, fake news, CNN, yada, yada, yada. Well, here's David Pakman talking about that very concept getting popularized uh, out there in the wild. Here he is. Will CNN become the new Fox News in 2024? Many of you have been emailing me about this. Failed former President Donald Trump has been actually suggesting to CNN, listen, if you want to pick up on what Fox News used to be, you should act. Trump himself. Trump himself telling CNN, hey, there's a big audience there. It's realistic. Actually folks. become the right wing network and people would flock and advertisers would flock and Trump would flock. So let's actually explore this. This is an interesting media story. The natural reaction you might be saying Fox, CNN, CNN becoming Fox. It doesn't make sense. Isn't Fox News the conservative network that's been dominating for decades? Yes, but things are changing pretty quickly, and it is true that politics can make some pretty strange bedfellows. So let's discuss what is going on. As you, I'm sure, know, Fox News has been the go to channel for the American right wing. And I'm using that that particular term as opposed to for Trump supporters or for fiscal conservatives or for Republicans or for whatever the case may be, because it's been the default cable outlet agenda setting power for the American right wing. And it's where the right got their news, even though much of it was actually opinion disguised at news, uh, disguised as news. They got their opinions. They got their talking points. But then came Donald Trump. Initially, Trump was not. Let's pause it. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry, David Pakman. Hey, there we go. Let's pause it there for a second. So why is it not a crazy idea? What was the purpose of Fox News? Because he's going to go down a lane that I, that I think describes it well, but it, it leaves out, in my opinion, one of the, the, the core reasons Fox existed at all. Uh, if you're familiar with what neoliberalism is, uh, you won't be surprised by this. Uh, if you're not, here's the quick definition. It is essentially saying that any regulation on capitalism is bad. Capitalism is the only way to solve any disagreement. Big business must have no regulations. That is neoliberalism. Fox, in fact, all of the major networks, more or less, are in on this idea. But Fox was a propaganda outlet for it. CNN is pretty close to that. CNN is now what Fox was in 2000. And they just, they seem quite reasonable because they are, in fact, willing to call out direct lies about politics. They are not. And the reason I started saying, look, CNN's a reasonable company to look at as far as a replacement for Fox. They, they are not willing to call out direct lies about corporations. They are very, they had Bernie, I think they had Bernie Sanders on. Oh, no, that was MS, MSNBC. But uh, they, they, are, they are not likely to have people on that are going to have an opinion that corporations are the problem. I still feel bad about that, Pacman. still. There we go. In addition... Uh, CNN is, well, let's just say it like this. CNN is where the billionaires will say, by supporting this media outlet, we make more money. 
by supporting this media outlet, we're going to get more people voting for people that give us bigger tax breaks. So let's support this media outlet. It's essentially what it comes down to. When he says corporate yada, 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 that's what he's talking about. I'm going to let him keep playing that. I'll jump in again in a moment. Donald Trump energized a base of support that included lots of people who were not previously participating in politics. They were not really in anyone's audience. And to the degree that Fox News eventually came around and supported Donald Trump in 2016, Trump's followers also became Fox News viewers. Fine. Over time, after Trump's first term ended, Fox News and the MAGA crowd were increasingly at odds. Trump's sort of uh, populist and confused populist nationalism increasingly was not completely in line with what Fox News was putting out there. Although Tucker. Christ, David. OK, so he does talk about what, what where I was going with that. So it's the populism. A true corporate media outlet needs to avoid populism because populism eventually comes down to economics. Now, of course, Fox right-wing populism is just sharing crazy conspiracy theories. That's all it is. And Fox had to go that route because there was such a movement behind Trump. But increasingly, Fox is in danger. By that very uh, populism, they were trying to show. It's just lies that a, their version of populism is just lies that appeal to people that are sick of getting bullied by the rich. That's all. CNN could take up that mantle, in which case, as we saw in the last segment, the folks like McConnell expect to see more and more of them on CNN. Senate Republicans expect to see more and more of them on CNN. Uh, that's the kind of messaging you're going to hear. And if, you under, if you're media savvy then, if you understand, okay, these are going to be anti-populist messages, that means they're going to be very pro-corporate messages, and you start hearing more defense of corporations, favorable stories about corporations on CNN, uh, uh, news stories where corporations are painted as the good guys, that's why. It's because they're going for that audience. List and confused populist nationalism increasingly was not completely in line with what Fox News was putting out there, although Tucker Carlson is, is someone who was and continues to put out that populist rhetoric. And then the 2020 election big lie led to a bigger rift where eventually Fox News got away from the lies that Donald Trump was telling. We now have learned as a result of text messages released because of this defamation suit filed by Dominion against Fox News, that even the Fox News hosts that early on were pretending as though they believed Trump's lies about the election. Privately, we know they didn't. This includes Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram at minimum, at minimum. So we now have a situation where the Trump crowd the Trump part of the American right and Trump himself are, to put it lightly, disillusioned with Fox News. They for a while now have been looking for alternatives. This includes for some of them Newsmax. This includes for some of them OAN. Both are to the right of Fox News. And it also includes even wackier stuff, Real America's Voice and, you know, the, the Lindell TV and all. But it's hard for them. To get on cable, one, because they're not big enough, two, because they don't draw a big enough crowd. They themselves are not big enough, two, because they don't draw a big enough crowd. So they don't have the money to buy their way in. They cannot say that, uh, look, you're going to make money because people are going to buy more subscriptions because of our viewership. No, they won't. And of course, three, they say lies, which means they are a liability. This Fox Dominion suit is going to scare the hell out of AT&T and Comcast and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's going to terrify them. They are going to see two words, big and bright and bold. They're going to see legal liability. That's what they're going to see. So ex don't expect, even though Newsmax, if Fox goes down, Newsmax is going to have a surge in viewership. Don't expect them to translate that into cable success in these last days of cable television. No, sir. No, ma'am. We are going to have, uh, instead, 
if there is a downfall of Fox, if the schism keeps going, we're going to have an exodus to the next most right leaning network of these other crazy things. But more recently, Donald Trump has been overtly going after Fox News, and he even has suggested alternatives to Fox Boom. News during his recent CPAC speech. He uh, sort of suggested, I, you know, Fox News might turn my speech off because of the things that I'm saying, etc. So over the last few months, a new option has been increasingly floated, including by Trump himself. What if CNN now under the leadership of Chris Licht, who is new president over at CNN, who seems primarily concerned with whatever needs to be done in order to get ratings up and to get revenue up. What if CNN, which has been called fake news, which has been called failing CNN, liberal CNN for years. What if CNN became the new home for Trump supporters and maybe even for more of the American right wing above and beyond just Trump supporters? Let's talk a little bit about that leadership. So what's Chris Licht going to be thinking? You start a new job. Imagine you, you've just you've taken a new position of leadership in a company. You want to come out the gate in your first couple of years, showing audience, showing success. In his case, showing audience growth. He wants to show those people who will give him bonuses that he has grown the audience with his leadership. A, an easy way to do that will be to take Trump up on his offer. Look at it the other way. Is CNN right now known for their, their hard-hitting reporting that uh, that really sticks it to the powerful. No, no. They're, they're known as being a relatively respectable news organization. That's it. But nobody's clamoring for the most recent CNN takes. When I, when I pick things for this channel to show you, I try to generally show you coverage that if you click on the link in the description, you go watch the whole thing, uh, it will it will be of value to you. And CNN does not make appearances as much because most of the time, when they cover an issue, they tread water. They just they present to you the facts that can't be denied that you will inevitably hear somewhere else, and they spin it ever so much so that corporations, at, at the very least, don't become the bad guys. I expect that to grow their viewership, they're not going to try to appeal to lefties. They're going to try to appeal to an audience which will be losing its main source of information if things continue down the road uh, that they are with Fox. In a sense, it sounds crazy, but it is not as far-fetched as it seems. Under new leadership, always interested in what is our next thing. And there have been a number of recent articles and op eds and and sort of uh, uh, pleadings from Donald Trump as well that CNN could become the new Fox News or at least a version of it. The idea being if CNN framed itself as we are the place that are going that we, we are the network that will show you both sides, but they use both sides really to give voice specifically to MAGA Trumpism rather than just generically the Republican Party. On Fox News, it is true that the more establishment Republican Party, people like Mitch McConnell, for lack of a for lack of a better example, still have a very prominent role there. And to the extent that CNN now includes Republican voices, they are mostly establishment Republican voices. That is absolutely true. So the opportunity would be for CNN to make a slight shift, shift the Republican voices to be more Trumpy voices, play them up, maybe put in a little bit of right wing opinion. There were there were times when you had more right wing opinion uh, in a more official capacity on CNN uh, and then see what happens with the ratings. Now, I have to tell you, Trump's instincts, I think, are correct, that there is a desire from the MAGA Trumpists for something more mainstream. And by mainstream, I don't mean in terms of opinion. I mean, in terms of distribution, more widely available 
the Newsmax and OAN, so they don't have to feel like they're relegated to channel 9000 on whatever cable network. Right? There's there is a desire for that. How often do I reference the fictitious the fictitious website? To my knowledge, FreedomEagle.net. I I don't know why that stuck in my head, but every time I make fun of MAGA's sources or where MAGA got their news, I say, "Oh, they went on to FreedomEagle.net." Yeah, that's embarrassing for for MAGA folks. It's embarrassing for them. They do want an air of legitimacy. And David Pakman makes an excellent point here. I don't know why I haven't had more Pakman on of late. I'll try to keep him uh, in the circulation because he makes a very astute point. What they are going to be looking for is an air of legitimacy. And of course, a lot of this depends on whether or not they genuinely uh, they they genuinely do uh, have this exodus from Fox. But it's a possibility. Why is it a possibility? Because Fox has been shown not to be credible. At this point, if you are not a MAGA Republican, but just, you know, someone who doesn't pay that close of attention to economics and fell for the, uh, the old Republican line, we're good with money. For the, rec- for the record, Republicans are terrible with money. They have always, always instituted economic policies which set America back, and then de- Democrats have to go save them. Uh, but right now, you don't have that legitimacy. If you say, I'm a Republican, where did you get your news from? Fox News. It's embarrassing. Because you see all this nonsense that they're doing. And now Mitch McConnell is saying things that are in direct contrast to what they're doing. In other words, Fox can no longer provide that air of legitimacy that it used to. So they will need to find somewhere else, somewhere on cable, to to air their bullshit. And CNN, even though the right has derided it as being liberal fake news for a long time, CNN has taken an anti Trump editorial approach on many of its programs, but is still primarily a corporatist news network. So I don't think it's as crazy as some are making it out to be. The question is, is this something CNN is interested in pursuing? And maybe even more importantly, just because it makes sense from a business standpoint for CNN to go more right during the Republican primary and maybe during the general election. Once it's all said and done and we're beyond November of 2024, is it still a logical direction for CNN? It's a good question to ask. Is it still a logical direction for CNN? Yeah, man. If they get the views, I mean, we're going to see in the next 365 days, ah, more than that, we're going to see over the next year and a half if that works out for them. I would be shocked if CNN doesn't make a play for that farther right reaching audience. This is where I have to warn you. If one of the places you're getting your news from is CNN, be cautious of what we expect to see in the near future. That is going to be a play for this right-leaning audience, which means they're going to have right-leaning programming. Just be cautious, because the transition is what's going to be dangerous. And hopefully we will have a cultural transition in this country where we can understand universally what we are seeing, which is simply propaganda for money. 